Hello everyone, my name is Sarbai and I come from Stuttgart. Thank you, Andreas. So my topic will be text analysis with computational linguistic methods. I know it sounds scary at the beginning, but believe me, we will just chop it down and it will be very easy. So computers, we say they are the stupidest device in the universe, right? They actually cannot do anything themselves. We always like have to program something, have to give something. They are like very stupid, but what if I told you I can actually make them smarter? Actually, to be honest, I am the guy who will enable the communication between you and your future robot in your house. Um, but before that, let me explain you how I ended up here. Well, it's, a, it's an interesting story, actually. I was doing my bachelor in Turkey in translation studies. I was just translating, nothing with computers. But I was doing it so much, day and night, it was just full of translation. And then one day I said, you know what, this is just too much, too much for me. I really don't want to sit here. So I said, how can I still be in linguistics, but do something with computers? Then I met with computer linguistics. So this is basically how it looks like instead of the books. So we say computational linguistics, computational linguistics, but what is it actually? Well. Let's break it into two parts first, the speech part and the text part. Talking about the speech part, um, I'm sure almost all of us here has smartphones. And in these smartphones, there is this system that is called speech recognition system. It's known as Siri in iPhone, S-Voice in Samsung, and so on. Another example would be how many of you guys actually watched the movie Her? One, two, wow, wow. We have a lot of people, I didn't expect that. Okay, great. Well, in this movie, for the ones who didn't watch it, the guy actually falls in love with the operating system of the computer. Why? Because this woman, this operating system, can understand this guy so much, so well, and she can actually respond. And this whole system, these three examples, they are all done with computational linguistic methods. The second part, text part, um, in the text part, the simplest example is Google Translator. I'm sure we also use it in our daily life. I know it doesn't function perfectly yet, but we will get there. So another one is again from Google. Have you ever wondered why or how can Google actually complete my sentence? You know, I'm just typing something in the search box and all of a sudden, bam, it's there. That is also computational linguistic it is done with computational linguistic methods. The last one in the text that I want to say is actually both text and the speech part, and it is especially useful for people who cannot see, because in this system, which is called speech to text, you can actually talk, and it will be converted into text, just like that. So text, well, today I will be talking more about text, because to be honest, I'm not the speech guy. I don't do that, but I focus on text. And especially, not this one, but it happens. And there we are. OK, I want to do it again, because this slide is very cool. You know, I worked on this animation so much. <laughs> so we said text. What I actually do is research-oriented text analysis. So again, let's break this. What is text analysis? Text analysis is actually understanding what is written in a text. And what I do is I don't understand it. I teach the computer how to understand the text, how to analyze the text. So let's take this example text, and it doesn't really matter what is written in it. But I developed this model, the Darth Vader model. And what this model will do for me is he will read the text, he can repeat it, he can actually understand it, he can translate it, summarize it, and visualize it. And this is thanks to the text analyzing script that is done with the computer linguistic methods. So now coming to my specific project. Well, I focus on e-mobility in Germany. And what I am trying to find is when it comes to e-mobility, what do people actually talk about? You know, we 
buy such a car. It's a BMW i8. It's a very expensive car. But the thing is, imagine that you have such a car. I am convinced that you will just keep on talking about it. You will talk so much. You will explain the good stuff about it, the bad stuff. You will tell your family. You will tell your friends. But that will not be enough. You will want to share it more. And the biggest platform that we share is online platforms. So you will, I don't know, you will use Facebook or other social media. But imagine when everyone actually talks so much about this stuff, there is this huge amount of data. It is so big that it is almost impossible to be processed by human. So we say data. Let me explain you very quick where do I get my data. I get my data from users, from the, just like us, from the users of the systems, the e-mobility systems. So let's say you can just buy an e-car. It can also just be an e-bike, actually. And when you have it, you talk about it. And what I am doing is I'm actually going into this fora that are used com most commonly in Germany, and I'm trying to take the post, so what you actually wrote, I'm trying to get the user, and I'm also trying to get the date when you actually posted it, because I will use this information that I will explain in a second. So let's say I extracted, I took all of these posts from online for, and I put them in this one document. Imagine just one big document on a page. And then, of course, who do we call? The Darth Vader. So I call my model again. I call my script again. And what he will do is he will actually read all of the sentences in this document. He will check the frequency of each word. So how many times is like every indi individual word is used. After that, with the model, he will decide on the topic of each post. And after that, we got the date information, if you remember. With this date information, he can actually put it in a timeline. Well, at the end, we will have a word cloud like this. And each word in this cloud represents a topic of a post that is extracted automatically. No, hum no human is involved. I mean, not the programming part. Apparently, I did that. But after that, you can say, I want to know how popular is BMW i8. And then you would have a graph like this, because you know how much people talked about BMW i8, and you can even see the shift in the date, if it got higher or if it got lower. You can say, well, I want to compare two topics. Then you can compare, I don't know, Akku with Ladestationen, and you can actually see which topic is more famous than the other topic. Well, you can say, OK, e-mobility, all this, but what do I get from this? I mean, we are sitting here, but wh what do I get from this as a consumer, as a user of a service? Well, what you will get is satisfaction, because you will be able to first express yourself. You will be able to talk. Second, this message will be delivered to the producers of these services or the products. So at the end, you will have a modified product or a service that is matching with your needs. Let's say, what would the companies would get from that? Well, they would get a perfect networking with their users, because they will, have the, they will be able to receive the direct feedbacks. And this means a lot to them. So at the end, customers will be happy. The users will be happy. The companies will be happy. Well, we talk too much about, I don't know, money stuff and users and companies, but this is not about that. It is not limited with e-mobility. E this is a generic model that you can apply to literature. You can say, I want to find out what is written in this book, and I can actually, I can actually um, represent it or visualize it. And when you go to a library, you will just have all of them. You can say, well, what about economics? Actually, with this model, you can find out the most trending companies in economics just by checking the online magazines, for example, just with the frequency of what is mentioned about them. Or last but not the least, as I promised, your future robot will actually know what you are talking about with this model. Thank you very much. Thank you. Freaky stuff.
Darth Vader. Two minutes for you.